So what are you doing, Susan? I'm going to walk over this site using differential GPS to mark absolute topographic height so that we can try and reconstruct where the reservoir would have been within the landscape. So you can mm -hmm. see these sort of strand lines or this incised edge which probably marks the highest water level. Yeah. It's kind of parallel with the dam height. Mm. But this is effectively a basin. We could work out how much sedimentary infill there's been and take it far back, mapping the sides as well. So actually work out the volume of sediment that's deposited if that's possible. And, yeah. Does Super. that make sense? Does to me. Thank you. And all our viewers. <laughs> This is the retaining wall of the reservoir on the Gordon Bush estate. It was built in the 1920s to provide hydroelectric power, but drained in the 1970s for legal reasons. During that time, a large amount of sediment has been deposited in the reservoir basin. Water bodies like this are unusual in upland areas, and the sediments they deposit provide a rare and important record of environmental changes, such as land use changes and changes in hydrology. Because the reservoir is an artificial water body, we know very precisely when it was created, which will help with the dating of sediment cores, which Plaid is extracting to reconstruct these changes in a joint project with Scottish and Southern Energy. So this is one of the real joys of working in Gordon Bush. It's absolutely swarming with ticks. Demonstrating how to use Russian Cora really? and the muscle that is required. Oh, look at that. I never had any doubt. just on that spot there. <laughs> yep, yep, let's go. Oh, look at that. And that is how you insert a Russian Cora. Turn to the left and extract. laminated deposit which some poor bugger is going to spend the next few years analysing. 
So Andy, could you just explain to us what we're looking at here? Um, well, it's the top of the cool, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's the bottom, and then what we're, what we're seeing here is levels of changes in the sedimentology. So the different types of material of sediment mm -hmm. lake mud. So we don't really know what it means, but I mean, some of these big things here could be big storm events, it would be lots of mm -hmm. larger size material. So the light ones are sand? Yeah, these look, yeah, this looks like sand, but this looks like organic mud. Uh -huh. And the sand is the larger? And so this sand will probably be larger, okay. larger flood events into the, uh, into the lake, or the old lake. Nice.